What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking all about boss shot shells. So if you're new to waterfowling or you know you've just been using steel for years, Boss is a, a relatively new shell company that came on the scene a few years back and uh, they've grown in popularity. So I'm going to do an unboxing of this case of shells here as well as do a review video shortly thereafter. Real quick though, be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest hunting content, gear reviews, tips and tricks, hunting videos, and much, much more. Now, let's jump into the unboxing. So, got a case of Boss here. It's pretty heavy. And I think these were about 270 bucks. Sent me back for, the, for just one case. So, a little steep, but We'll cover all that in just a second. They did a good job packaging this. I got the right way. Got the right way. There we are. Come on. There. Okay. Big reveal. So, when you get your boss shot shells, and these are 20 gauge, actually got some 28 gauge as well. But when you get a case of Boss Shot Shell, you get a little bag. That's kind of a wax canvas bag. Would be the best way to describe it. They all have Boss. They come in different colors. So I got, I don't know, I actually got a green one hanging up here. And there might be another, like a tan one, blue. They come in a bunch of different colors. So that's kind of cool. You can put all the shells in there. Uh, you also get several boxes. Uh, these hold 20 shells. So you pop them in. Uh, they should hold 20 shells. These might hold 25, actually. The 28 gauge held 20, but these might hold 25. 20 to 25 shells. I like that. You get two, two of those. They come broken down. And that's what I like to put in my blind bag. It's a lot easier. And then you get these, your whole bag of shells. And that that's what comes in a case of Boss Shot Shells is, you know, your... Shotgun shells right here. These are 20 gauge. They're yellow. You know, they, they try to keep to the color scheme. So the 12 gauge is going to be red. 410, 28 gauge are also red. And then the 16 gauge are going to be purple. And then the 20 gauge are yellow. Uh, kind of customary there. And there are 200 shells in each case of Boss Shot Shells. So, right here, that's it. That's, that's all you get in your case of shells, which, you know, they're shotgun shells. They're Nothing too fancy there. Now let's get into the review portion. How do these work? Well, I can't personally attest to the 20 gauge. So let's grab some other ones here. Right here. So here's a case from last year, a little smaller, 28 gauge. I can personally attest to these. I ran my 28 gauge last year with Boss Shot Shells almost exclusively and shot ducks and geese with it. So let's just start with what a Boss Shot Shell is. It's Typical shotgun shell. It's got powder. It's got a wad. It's got shot. It's got the shell. The shot is what makes it different than everything else. So there are other bismuth loads out there. Boss is also a bismuth load. What differentiates it is simply a copper plating on the bismuth shot. And that's it. That's that's the difference. Boss shot shell. So let's talk about the benefits of Boss shot shells. And kind of would hit on the same for bismuth as well. But the number one benefit over steel shot is the increased knockdown power. And the increased knockdown power is due to a whole bunch of different things. I'm not going to get into all the physics. Um, there's other videos out there that people can explain that a lot better. And I'm not a ballistics expert or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to give a really <laughs> rundown, quick version, cliff notes, whatever you want to call it, version of this. So bismuth is denser than steel. Lead is denser than steel. Lead is more lethal than steel, as is bismuth, because of that density. Steel, to get... You know, more lethality, they got to soup it up, higher velocity, 1550, 16, 1700, whatever. Bismuth, these ones are all 1350. They don't have to soup them up. And actually, when they do, the pattern goes to crap with it. So, it has increased knockdown power. All you need to know as the average waterfowler out there is this means that when you make a great shot, that bird's going to go down. And that same thing with steel. You know, if you shoot them in the head every time, it doesn't really matter. But if you make a poor shot or a less than ideal shot, you know, you shoot a little further back on that bird or, uh, you know, you're hunting late season honkers and they got that 
basically that armor coat on their belly, uh, and you didn't get one in the head, you didn't bust its wing, you're going to have a lot better chance shooting bismuth because it's got a little bit more punch, got a lot more knockdown power than that steel. So it can tear through that, tear through that target and help bring it down. And that is the number one benefit to bismuth, but specifically Boss shot shells, is the increased knockdown power. I had some less than ideal shots. You know, I was behind birds a little bit uh, and still, still brought them down. I, I know for a fact that I lost less birds and had less cripples with Boss than shooting steel shot. So that, that is the main benefit. Another benefit is you can actually go up in shot size. So if you're used to shooting two shot steel, you can actually go up to four shot bismuth and have the same equivalent knockdown power. Now what that means is you're gonna have more pellets. So you can have more pellets, that's better chance for a headshot, better chance for broken wings, better chance to have more lethal contact on your target. So that is another benefit of bismuth, specifically boss. Now what differentiates boss, here's another benefit here, is the copper plating. So bismuth has had some issues over the years. Talking to some of the duck hunters, when bismuth first came out, when non-toxic shots were first coming out, the bismuth didn't hold together the best. It would fragment. The, the, we came a long way from there. With boss, the copper plating helps hold those pellets together. There still will be a little fragmenting, and I'll comment on that in just a little bit on the negative portion of it, but by and large, it helps keep those pellets together and also increases penetrability. It helps, you know, it, it, it gives it like a smoother surface to get through um, the target, essentially, and help, and help bring that animal down. Those are the main benefits. Actually, the number one benefit is increased knockdown power. Better knockdown power means less cripples, Less cripples mean less time out of chasing cripples, less shells shot at said cripples, and more time back in the blind, hopefully shooting more birds. I mean, how it, it has happened to me a lot of times. I'd sail a bird using steel shot, and I'd be looking for that bird, and I'd look over at my decoy spread, or I have birds coming low when they're cupping, and they're looking at my decoy spread, and I'm like, probably could have shot those. I wasn't out looking for this one lost bird, but... You know, that's, that's how it goes. It's hunting. That's how, that's how it goes. But there are some negatives to bismuth and boss shot shells specifically. The number one thing people are concerned with on the boss shot shells on bismuth shot specifically, and I was actually of this same mindset just a year or whatever ago before I got my 28 gauge and tried some boss, is the price. You know, a case like this, this is like $270 right here. It might be a little bit more than that even. They're around that 270, 280 range for 28 gauge, 20 gauge. I'm not sure on the 12s. You guys can check on the Boss website. But that's expensive. That's that's pretty expensive, you know, for 200 rounds, or at least that's what people say. Now, when you think about it, you know, you pay how how much? Oh, 15 $15 a box for steel shot here in Nebraska for like cheap, cheap Walmart loads. Okay, well, I'm saving a bunch of money, but how many birds are you crippling? And how many times do you have that bird out there and you gotta just keep wasting shells trying to clean it up? All that stuff adds up. It's, you've gotta kinda of balance it out. If you're, if you're a great shot, you know, I've told people like this, if you're Tom Knapp, you still, whatever. But if you're not, and you're not gonna make the perfect shot every single time, Boss is a great, great shell for that because increased knockdown power, once again, helps bring those birds down. Another negative that I previously alluded to was the fragmentation. I noticed it very rarely this past season, and I shot, I don't know, somewhere 80, 90 ducks and a handful of geese with it and only had a few that were like this. And the reason it fragments with the copper plating, that helps hold it together, helps it, you know, helps prevent it from fragmenting as much. But the reason that some still fragment, and they'll fragment right in half, so you'll have like half a shot here, half a shot there, if you're finding them in the birds, is because they're bouncing off each other in flight. So that is something to mention. 
Um, it's nothing. I mean, personally, I don't think it's too big a deal, but you know, we're, we're covering all bases here. Another thing is, at least in my specific gun, I shoot the Tricer Viper G2 28 gauge, is every now and then these shells will get jammed, the extractor will rip the brass on it, and what happens is the shell just kind of expands a little bit, and I don't know if it's the gun or the shell, uh, you know, those Turkish guns like TriStar can have some issues like that, some tolerance issues, and you polish it up and it'll work just fine. That's that's what we're doing with my gun this off season, so I don't have those issues. But it does bear mentioning once again is you can have occasional jams and it seems to be more with the Turkish style guns at, and from what from what I've heard talking to other people, it, it seems to be more in the sub gauges. I don't know if it's as prevalent in the 12 and 10 gauges. So those are the positives, those are the negatives. I'll give you my own thoughts real quick and kind of talk about exactly what I use. So 28 gauge, I shot two and three quarter inch. That's all my gun will take, two and three quarter inch, 28 gauge, five shot and four shot. The five shot I used exclusively for ducks, the four shot I used for geese. With the geese, when I was hunting geese, with my 28 gauge, I used a full choke. It, the bismuth, the boss, seems to pattern the best out of the full choke. It kind of likes a little tighter constriction. But I also did really well. I shot it out of an improved cylinder and a modified, and I had great success with it as well. Now, part of that being I was very selective in my shots, you know, what shots I was taking. I have a very conservative shot selection. But, you know, another part of it was it just works. It works, and I... I can personally attest to this, you know, obviously, as I bought more of this, I'm not sponsored by Boss, this all came out of my own pocket, because I believe in how well these shells work. <laughs> I was honestly blown away when I first got my 28 gauge, you know, I was like, I don't want to shoot steel with it, because there's, there's less pellets, I have, you know, a less opportunity, so I want to make sure that when I'm shooting at a bird and I hit it, I want to make sure that, that bird goes down. And I, you know, read some more reviews on Boss, tried it out, and I was just blown away. And I started with one case, and I bought a several more last year because I almost ran out. I was honestly blown away with how well these shells work. And if you guys don't believe me, you, you got to try them for yourself. You know, I was, like I said, I was of that mindset, that steel shot. Uh, you know, it's cheap. Who cares? You get them in tight. You can still knock them down. It works, right? But they weren't going down as dead as I would have liked them. I didn't have to chase near as many birds using boss shot shells. And, you know, once you get the hang of it, especially when you're going from steel to boss, I would, you know, go shoot some trap before you go out and do these because these are moving 1350, where your typical steel load, or at least the ones I was shooting, was 1550. You're going to be shooting, you know, you, you want to get your shooting back up to par, get used to that 1350, you know, get get that lead built up for that 1350 versus the 1550. That would be one thing I would greatly encourage everyone to do. Not only pattern your gun with different chokes out to different ranges to see how the boss patterns out of your gun, but also shoot some clays with it before season so you can be on those birds when the season rolls around. But that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully I did a good job of explaining the benefits to Boss. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll catch you out there. See ya.